We respectfully acknowledge that Wood Buffalo Regional Library is situated on Treaty 8 territory, the traditional lands of the Cree and Dene First Nations and the Métis Nation. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda, and welcome back to Book Bites, a video series brought to you by the Wood Buffalo Regional Library, where we give you an opportunity to take a peek into some of our collections. Today, we're going to be looking at young adult fiction, specifically realistic fiction, one of my favorite genres. Our first title is The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp. This is a fast-paced thriller that's LGBTQ. Our main character, Nora, is the daughter of a con artist, and her slick skills are put to the test when she enters a bank and it begins to be robbed. She is also faced with the awkward drama of her ex finding her out. As she navigates her identity, the true one, and her relationship status, this book will keep you on the edge of your seat. A perfect summer read. Our second title is We Are the Ashes, We Are the Fire by Joy McCallick. On a more serious note, this title addresses the social and political issues surrounding sexual assault and the justice system. The focus follows those who are close to the direct victim and how they're affected. This unique perspective mixed with historical references helps readers understand the impact of sexual assault and the ripple effects it has on a community and a family. A solid feminist read with the opportunity to learn about a historical figure who fought for women in the 15th century, this will light the fire in your soul for justice. Our third title is Tell Me My Name by Amy Reed. I'm especially excited about this title. On Goodreads, it's referred to as a gender-flipped Great Gatsby style book. It's a psychological thriller full of dark twists and turns. It captivates readers from the moment that we meet Ivy, our main character. I won't say too much because I don't want to spoil it, but this is a great read and you'll be hooked immediately. Our final title is Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. The prelude to bestseller The Hate You Give Concrete Rose is set 17 years prior in the same neighborhood. We follow our main character, Maverick, as he faces the pressures that society places on him as a young black man. Also faced with becoming a young father, Maverick does his best to go straight and provide for the ones that he loves. This is a heartfelt coming of age story that doesn't sugarcoat the social issues of the reality of the situation that many individuals face in real life. Always inspiring, I recommend this title and any by Angie Thomas. Thanks for joining me on another Book Bites. Some of these books contain some really heavy topics, so make sure you have someone to talk to about them if you need to. What social issues are you interested in? And which YA fiction do you like to read just for fun? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for joining us.